Hi guys, my name is Megan and today I've got some science fiction recs for you. All right, so today we are talking all about science fiction recommendations. I haven't been super into science fiction in a very long time, so it's kind of nice to get back into the mood of science fiction reading. Um, and these were some of my recent favorites and some old favorites, so uh, let's go ahead and dive in. All right, so the first recommendation I have for you is one that has been around for quite a long time. It is kind of making the rounds on booktube again, um, and I have to say I'm kind of shocked that I haven't read it uh, until a couple months ago, and that is All Systems Red. I think I have recommended this book in quite a few recommendation videos recently, um, but honestly I can't help it. All Systems Red is probably one of my favorite current science fiction books that's out there. Um, it follows Murderbot, who... Murderbot isn't necessarily human or fully android or fully robot. Um, it's kind of an amalgamation of all of them. It's also non-binary um, and an asexual character, uh, which is amazing. But also, Murderbot is probably one of the very few characters that I've seen have really good like depression and anxiety rap. And Murderbot is just an anxious little ball of circuitry that just wants to be left alone to watch its soap operas and, you know, make sure its humans don't die on their their exploration mission. I mean, if Murderbot's not the most relatable character out there, I don't know what character is. Okay, so the next one I have for you is one that I've recommended quite a bit in the past, and it's an it's honestly one of my favorite book series is of all time, and that would be Web Mage. So Web Mage is a combo of science fiction and Greek mythology, and Revan, the main character, is he's basically a grown-up Percy Jackson, if Percy Jackson had a talking computer. And he's so sassy, and I love Melchior the computer goblin, which it's a little goblin that turns into a laptop, and it's, oh, it's such a good book series. Um, so like I said, it's a combo of Greek mythology and science fiction all kind of mushed together. And it's so good. Ruben, the main character, has to basically save the world from his many times great aunt, who is one of the three fates, who is, you know, trying to destroy free will. But there's also his grandmother, who is one of the other fates, who just wants him to stop misbehaving and, you know, behave like a scion of fate should and it's just such a fun reading experience and I know they're a little bit older I mean at this point they're they're real old um <laughs> but they're so good and I feel like they still kind of hit the mark for me this book series is one that I would highly recommend it's so fun all right so the next book that I have to recommend for you is Artemis so this book gets a bad rap but I really really enjoyed it. This one follows Jazz Bashira and she didn't sign up to be a hero. Yeah, she just wanted to get rich. Um, so she's a smuggler and she smuggles things to the moon where this is like the first colony on the moon where she lives and things are real hard to come by and the economy is <laughs> you're either very rich or very poor. She doesn't even want to be that rich. She just wants to be rich enough to move out of her coffin-sized little apartment and, you know, eat something better than flavored algae. And, you know, when that chance for that huge score comes along, then things, you know, Jazz can't say no, but then things start going horribly wrong. And uh, let's just say this is a great adventure. Also, I really, really appreciate how science-based this actually is. There's a huge explanation of what the economy on the moon could look like and, you know, how oxygen is made up there. And it's such an interesting book. And I would highly recommend it if you guys are into science fiction and haven't read this yet. Okay, so next up I have for you is the Shuri comics. These are, I'm trying to think if these are 2018, 2019. I think these are the 2018, 2019 run of Shuri comics by Nettie Okorafor. I really, really enjoy these. Um, I haven't read many Marvel comics, but I really enjoyed Shuri in the Black Panther movie, so I decided to give these a shot, and they're fantastic. This whole series, I read this series in like two days. These comics are just so interesting, and I really liked getting to see all of the other Avengers in there and a whole bunch of other characters that are, you know, in the Marvel Universe were all kind of mixed into this world. And it was so cool to see all the tech that's in this and, you know, getting to see Shuri going to space. And I really liked the musical aspect that was kind of thrown into this too. And of course, I really loved the African mythology mixed into the series as well. It was so, so good. And I kind of want to dive more into Black Panther comics. So if you guys have any recs, let me know down below. Yeah, but Shuri 
it's a really interesting character and I really like her her duality of you know having to please her mother but also wanting to do her own thing and be her own person instead of you know royalty or whatever um and then the last one that I have for you is I hope you get this message so this was a really like heartbreaking read so it's basically a aliens come and contact the earth and tell them they have seven days to give them a reason why they won't be destroying earth and it's basically these kids running for their lives trying to connect with their parents and you know right some wrongs and help each other get where they're going and finding love and losing love and trying to get these messages that are really important to people to the people that they love before the end of the world and it's such a good book and it's so heartbreaking. I'm not sure if I have a review for this one. If I do, I will leave it linked up above, but this is one that you should definitely give a try because um, it's not necessarily sci-fi in the way that you think of science fiction generally. It's very based on Earth and, you know, it's very grounded and in these characters trying to find each other at the end of the world and you know when the aliens are trying to destroy them. So good and it's one that I would highly recommend because and it's it's a chunk of a book but it's it's really really good. All right so those are all of my science fiction recs for you guys for now. If you guys have any recs that you'd like to recommend let me know down below or if you have any recommendations that you think I should read let me know because um, I'm always looking for more science fiction books. Um, if you guys like this video don't forget the like button if you haven't already but would like to go ahead and hit the subscribe button and if you'd like to follow me on social media for more bookish stuff check out the links down below. Alrighty, bye guys!